Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. Today, Lee will be having a look at the EKWB L240 water cooling kit. Hi guys, um, it's Lee from Nismo Tech here. Um, today, I've got the EK uh, L240 water cooling kit that we're going to have an unboxing look at. Um, let's start off first of all with the outer packaging. So, Firstly, you can see it's got the distinctive EK white and orange um, design to it. Um, the actual packaging itself has the EK um, circle design, which is evident in pretty much all of their uh, CPU blocks nowadays. Um, packaging's quite simple, plain. Um, on the rear, you have a list of uh, items which is inside the box. So firstly you have CPU block, uh, EK pump, EK reservoir, EK 240mm radiator, two EK 120mm uh, fans, the box states they're 1600rpm, two meters of EK matte black tubing, uh, EK fittings, EK coolant, UV ocean blue, um, Bit of a strange choice considering the tubing is matte black and not transparent. Looking at the uh, item list, and finally um, one and a half grams of uh, gelid thermal paste. Uh, and you've got here a few bullet points in various languages. So the UK language states all in one CPU water cooling kit designed for multi core CPUs, extreme cooling performance. Industry standard uh, G quarter threaded ports and detailed installation guide inside. Uh, out it actually has some advantages, which is uh, improved system stability, improved overclocking potential, silent yet effective cooling, easy to install and maintain, and unlimited upgradability options. And it says it's compatible with Intel and AMD and tells you the range of socket types. Pretty much every socket type that's uh, current or maybe has been current in the past sort of four or five, maybe even six years. So let's move on to opening the product up. See what we've actually got. Right, okay, so inside the box, firstly we have two metres of tubing. Um, looking at this, it's sort of rubberized black matte tubing. Um, quite thick, I don't know if the camera can pick that up at all as you can see, I don't know if it's viewable there but it's very 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 thick so that doesn't going to cause any problems right, what else is in the box so we've got an EK res and pump let's pop this baby open that's in this distinctive blue colour here right, instruction booklet Ah, right, okay. So here we have. This up. Right, okay, so we have a small reservoir with the pump which is already pre attached. You can see that there. That's uh, quite cool. It's got nice mounting points on the bottom, so easy to install. So that's great. You've got um, various power adapters that you're going to need. And also um, some mounting screws. Okay, so let's uh, pump and res. Okay, what else have we got in here? Right. So we've got CPU block. Let's pop this open. Right, this one's in the more distinctive orange colour with packaging. So you've got a back plate there, as you can see nicely. And a standard CPU block. Please remove before use. Okay, so that's the back plate, and there's the top. So, the design, as you can see, is uh, it's an LTX block, um, pretty standard sort of entry level CPU block um, from EK. It'll do the job fine, it'll give you good overclocking potential. Again, you've got some uh, thermal paste. 
appears that it's Gellied, so it appears that um, EK recommend Gellied as their uh, thermal paste choice. Not a bad choice, if I do say so myself. And um, what else do we have in the box? Okay, so here we've got EK Silent Fan. Now I'm interested in seeing what these are actually like. Um, reason is I, I didn't, don't actually know what EK fans are like. EK generally don't manufacture fans. Uh, right, okay, looking at it, it's standard black 120mm fan. Um, Standard blades, um, let me see, like, see if it has any technical info, ah right, okay, technical data, so if you, if you can see that, so you've got it's 12 volt fan, 1600 RPM, airflow is 58.8 CFM, no, noise level 25 decibels, 25.8, it's a 120mm by 120mm by 25mm fan, uh, and that's pretty much it. Static pressure is 1.7, which isn't the best, but isn't the worst. It's it, it's good enough for water cooling. And uh, I'll be honest, if you're purchasing an all-in-one water cooling kit, you're probably delving into water cooling for the first time. So in, in terms of that, that, that should be good enough for you. Obviously, at a later date, if you want to, you can upgrade to better fans. Okay, so we've got a second fan there as well. So well, there's the second fan. Okay, now on to the big one, which I assume is the radiator. So again, it's got the, uh, the usual EK design with the circles. Strangely enough, the uh, block itself wasn't the circle design block. That's it. Okay, so let's uh, open the radiator up. Firstly we have um, various screws to mount the radiator, the fans, okay, let's pop this open, right. pop that off, okay so it's a liquid solution cool stream PE radiator. Um, standard 120mm radiator, it looks like it's manufactured by EK themselves. Um, as you can see you've got the EK logo in the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, decent looking fan. Plenty of fins, if you can see that on the camera. So plenty of fins, should give very good cooling performance. Should allow for um, good overclocks. Um, one thing I've noticed, the ports for you to fit the fittings to connect pipes there's not any options you have an in and an out or vice versa um, but no options sort of would have been nice to have an option here maybe here or here so you can mount in various directions different options with different cases but still like, like I've already said um, it's a very entry level sort of starting package uh, for, what, for getting into water cooling so for the majority of systems it'll do the job. Okay, what do you have here? Water cooling kit installation manual beta 2. So you've got various paperwork with pictures, installation instructions, it's all pretty standard stuff. So it gives you a rundown of how to install it. Uh, it actually gives you a, an instruction on the best way to uh, install the loop in what, which particular order, so you can see there. Got CPU block to radiator to pump back to reservoir. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. So for the novices out there, that'll help. What else have we got? Right, okay, so now we've got some EK coolant, um, L UV dark blue coolant. Now, um, I'm not an expert with EK water cooling coolant, uh, however, it's a little bit confusing why they'd supply. A UV coloured um, coolant when you've got this piping because obviously you can't see any fluid in the, in the system. The only place you're going to see the fluid is on the CPU block, which the entire surface area is going to be that. Um, 
Whilst having the UV blue is good, personally, I think I'll, I'll potentially look at maybe um, swapping the tube in for something transparent because it would give a, a much better finish to a system if you did that. Um, why they didn't include that in the box, I don't know. Other than that, though, I think that the actual overall um, products that have been offered are very good. And then finally, last item in the box we have is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, we've got six fittings. Let's have a look at these. Pop them out. Now these are just standard fittings, so you've got you don't have any angled fittings, 45 degree, 90 degree, or rotary fittings. You just have the standard um, fittings. So if you look there, you can see that there. So it's got the EK logo on it. One, two, three, four sides. So that's. Uh, there we go, right, our ring's already pre-installed, it's just on a screw, so effectively you put the, uh, for the devices out there that have never used water cooling, so what you do, you'd attach it onto the end of your block, uh, like so, so that'd go on there like that, and then you obviously put your tubing on, and then over the top of the end of the tubing goes this, tighten that up, and then that effectively secures uh, the tube in place. And obviously you'd do the same for your radiator for your uh, reservoir and pump combination as well and obviously make a complete loop from that. So, all in all, what do I make of this? Um, as an entry level solution, sort of for a first time customer looking to get into water cooling, great, brilliant product. Gives you everything you need. Uh, water cooling can be very, very daunting in terms of what do you need, what goes together, what fits and for the relatively novice people out there the biggest issue is it's very difficult to understand what fits together with each other so for this, this is perfect, you have obviously all the same size connectors that are all that compatible with each other you're not struggling to work out will this go with this so EK have sort of released an all-in-one solution for novices that are looking to get into water cooling this for me, great idea as you can see guys, uh, what we have here then from EK is an EK240 all-in-one water cooling kit. Uh, it comes in at a price point of £200, uh, all but a few pennies from most detailers online. Um, special tech for example at £198.99, uh, including VAT at the moment. Um, so in terms of price, Obviously it's a lot lot more money than a sort of simple air cooler or a simple all-in-one water cooling solution. However, the potential for overclocking um, and sort of style within your system far surpasses uh, anything that's available with a, a, a metal air cooler or indeed an all-in-one cooling uh, water cooling solution. So in terms of practicality, uh, this product spot on. Um, can't beat it at all. Uh, in terms of price, obviously it's it's not cheap, um, it's not for everybody, water cooling is sort of a very much an enthusiast product and anybody looking to maximise their uh, system performance uh, with the current hardware they have on the CPU, by all means I would recommend purchasing this any day of the week. Um, the advantage with this as well is obviously uh, being able to upgrade, um, improve and add add to the loop itself, um, obviously with an, another radiator, uh, graphics card block um, and some more fluid, a couple more fans, you could potentially do your CPU and uh, even a GPU or maybe even two GPUs if you're feeling brave. Um, and obviously you can use all the existing hardware um, that's included in this to do that and obviously just it's like Lego, bolt on, add on kits, improve um, with more accessories that you can purchase from EK. Um, great piece of kit, I'd recommend it to anybody. Thanks for watching the video. Um, as always, comments uh, are more than welcome. Um, leave your feedback. Look forward to speaking to you again next time. And uh, in a few weeks' time, we, I will actually do a uh, installation video showing this um, and what it looks like built in a system. And I'll give you more information regarding performance. What, what capabilities you have in terms of overclocking potential with this. 
We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.